the thing that kind of caused Ike to uh, not do as well is a lot of the top players got better at just moving and carrying so they wouldn't get hit by Nair as much. Yeah, and that's what I was saying earlier in the night is that it wasn't necessarily like people didn't know how to play the game yet, just nobody was both good at the game yet. So now that everyone's more used to the mechanics of Smash Ultimate, you can see these like abusive hitboxes um, being less prevalent. Yeah, probably that yep. though, like, I don't know, like, Raven King still makes his character work, man. Like, yeah. he hits, like, all these nares, all these combos, like... It's definitely, his spacing uh, at the oh ledge, uh, <laughs> his yeah. spacing at the ledge, um, really makes it so that he's covering multiple options with nair. This might be a three stock, honestly. Oh, yeah. you can't, you can't do Montan like that. He's at Montan. He, he's gonna, he's gonna die. Stop using the key. <laughs> Stop using the key. Stop it. I believe oh. in you not to get three stocked. It's just stop using the damn key. <laughs> he, it's getting closer, dude. And the only reason why he survives is because he's a town today. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he got All him. right. He got, he got him. But honestly, dude, like, one on the board. It's pretty tough for Game Watch too, because like swords. Oh, there it is. Good empty hop. Good empty hop. He got JV, doesn't matter. He yeah. basically got these stocks. <laughs> that was a very fast match. And that's, it's, it's, it's pretty good for Ike, in my opinion, I think. Or maybe it's even, I couldn't tell you because I don't mean Ike, but from what I see, it's because of the fact that, like, Ike has really good spacing, a disjoint, kill confirms. Disjoints and spacing really kill Game & Watch, and because he's able to do so, that gives Game & Watch trouble. But when it comes to being off stage, Game and Watch pretty much excels way more than Ike does, especially on edge guarding too. Like, mm. I think that's the only way I see uh, Monty Ant winning is if he starts edge guarding way better. Yeah, that's I agree. I, I wholeheartedly agree. I'm being honest because it just seems like another one of those matchups where Game and Watch uh, gets outranged and dies mm -hmm. early. Exactly, and because Ike has combos that kill and combos that snowball, it becomes really difficult for Game & Watch. And he can't, he can't, like, uh, autopilot down there out of just Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say, like, we already now, saw just how much he got punished for opting to go to the key, which usually is the go-to option for Game & Watch, but against Raven King, he just continued to slap Monte and back into the air. Yeah, this is opportunity, though. Yeah, I'm not sure about this pick though. What, what do you think about Battlefield? Mm -hmm. I like Battlefield. This feels I... like ladder central for Ike. Yeah, this, this, this is ladder central. I know it works both ways too because Game oh, Watch. Yeah, Game there. Watch gets the same thing, but yeah. Ike gets platform extensions on his combos. Game mm. Watch just makes it so you have a like you can't really land this well. Wow, that hit. Uh, yeah. yeah, that really hit. You I, can I, angle for it. You can out for it. Or he just missed the ledge. I think he might have. I, I actually could have tied either, but you can angle for it till fry. But yeah, it's like stride sets. This is up air. Game of Watch can juggle you with up air much easier in the stage, but also you, you have to take into consideration, like, I can just ladder you. <laughs> yeah, you get laddered by Nair and then you get taken to the top platform, Nair, up air. That's, that doesn't sound fun. But, yeah. alright, Monte ain't gonna clean up the stock with the back here. I mean, Game & Watch isn't fun to fight, I'll be honest there with you. <laughs> Game & Watch is the most fun character. What are you talking about? Nah, man. Don't you I'm love randomly crazy. getting 9? No, I, I I hate that I try to hit him out of, with anything and he has the best out of shield option in the game. The ejection button? Yeah. Eject Osito, man. I, don't, I think it wouldn't be as uh, hard to do it if he didn't, like, Get his jump back? Is he gonna get a jump? I don't know. If he went to free blockers, it would be, you know, more tolerable, I think. No, he, he doesn't get his jump back. If he, no, the side hitboxes is what really irritates me. Like, the side hitboxes launch you into the front hitbox, and then you get launched. That's what yeah. move connect. I meant to say, like, if he didn't, if you went to free fall after his up, you like, oh. normal character. Yeah, he if only the entire cast did that. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine Ike if he didn't go into free fall after Quinchaw? Oh my god. 
this character would definitely be a high oh. character. Like, oh. Oh, oh. How did he get put there? Oh, he just fast fell. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. Oh, oh close. He was so close. That could have been death. Yeah. Opportunity here, though. Yeah, good juggles here. Yep. Ike doesn't have a really good landing. Ooh. So he doesn't. He doesn't. So you should keep using that, but it doesn't matter. Even your light as a piece of paper. You, you, know, it you know what would fix all this? A little RNG. Just, just down through, down through judgment every time. Hey, it's like straight to. Get trying like, to play the game. Don't, don't play the game. That's, that's why we're here. This is why the score is too low. You need to start rolling the dice. So I mean, it works for my stew. Yeah, it does. It's like, oh no. I'm down. All right, let me clean up the stock. All right, new stock. Get 20, down throw 9. Now I'm winning. I mean, there's no reason to not go for it. Like, what if you get it, you know? I think this one. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good opportunity for, like, what the stride says, right? Like, if Game & Watch gets the juggle, it's really good and really pivotal for Montiant because Ike's landing options are really poor, that he's forced to go to the ledge. And that allows Montiant, hopefully, to get better edge guards here. And it depends if he can get edge guards or not. Uh, yeah. But for Raven King, like at that situation, dude, it's literally just like if you can't juggle me efficiently all the time, then I'm gonna be the one winning. Yeah, basically. But uh, we're gonna CFD here, which is gonna help him, I think. Because uh, Raven King just not platform to retreat to if he gets hit in the air. And yeah, he also can't extend off them. Yeah, yeah, basically. So, oh, that was good, that was good, that was good. Uh, he had starting, invin yeah, he had, he had starting invincibility frames, yep. Yeah, Raven King times uh, the armor on the up pretty consistently. If you asked me, that armor timing was justice. But uh, right. something that people still aren't very good at doing, uh, if you time a hitbox uh, to the side of Ike's up B, and comms, they just get hit every time. Yeah, oh, that was good. Good, get off of me option. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, think, I think just getting sucked into the vortex, though, is still a pretty big fear. Yeah, but and I feel like... aren't good at it. Yeah. And I feel like that forward air honestly extended the hitbox. I'm sorry, the hitbox for up air, and that pretty much could be able watch at that height. Yeah. Okay, well, the trusty key comes clutch for, for Montaigne at that time. Looks like Raven King wasn't ready for it. Oh, this is good. This is good for Montiant. Like I said, he wants to make sure he gets those good juggles because I, we kind of saw how Raven King was able to lose the stock, honestly. It's because he got juggled so much. He was being put off stage so much off the stage. So if Montiant could just keep up that game plan, right, he will probably find a W. But it's all about how he gets that. I feel like that was two times he went for LB out of shield. I mean, kind of risky, but we're going to pay off a little bit nicely. Yeah, he's nice. a little bit of on damage. Oh, he did his bridge would be the wrong way. Oh, luckily he still has stage control. A little bit. Oh, no. That episode's so scary. Nice. Oh, that was really yeah. good. He, he was looking to just space him and bait him so well. Yeah, he did like the mash spot dodge. Yo, that hold on, I have to rewatch that. That forwarder extended the her hitbox so much. Am I am I going to pop that? It seems that way, but also like yeah, you just start getting out anyway. Like, yeah, okay. He actually hit the projectile and then hit Montana on with a different part of the the hitbox. Yeah, and Raven King is so good at aiming those quick draws at the ledge. Like he gets them perfect, and that's super crucial in this matchup here. Good up, he had a shield. Nice, pushes himself back. Doesn't want to get punished with a down smash. Oh wow, that dash attack? What? What? I don't know. Do not have? Huh? All right. I think. Oh, he did quick draw into the stage. Might have just been a missing foot. All right, there's the up throw. Another key. More keys coming from from Montana. We're gonna get the drag down with the nair. Oh, I don't oh like yeah. I didn't like those forward airs a lot. I mean, maybe, maybe one of them was good as a small trap setup, but one too many. Oh. And, yep, trading spaces and trading. 
Well, that's, such a, that's such like a, a a really good player goes for something like that. Like Dash they'll do attacks. they'll do empty hops to force your shield low, and then they'll go for like a shield poke move or yeah, like a tech chase. That was just really good conditioning. I think that's really good with Ike too because so many people get conditioned with shield because they're scared of falling there. So you just get yep. to jump in on people. 